Hey there, Bridge family. It's Pastor Jeff. And today I'd like to speak to you about the blessing that is associated with good spiritual leadership. And in order to do that, I need to also bring you a warning and say to you, watch out for those that are not good spiritual leaders. Now, in the spirit of Psalm 119 and a sense of what it is to be blessed, today I'd like to bring you a devotional, not from my heart, but from the heart of my favorite and I believe most beautiful theologian in the world. I'm going to use this devotional, Stand on the Word, the January through March 2022 devotional, and it comes from the verse, Genesis 35, verse 2. The daily devotional focuses on leadership and that leadership matters. Let me simply read it to you, and I pray, extend the blessing. Here in the devotional, it says, In 2012, calamity occurred at sea. Strangely, the accident occurred in shallow waters. On a beautiful day, the Costa Concordia capsized when the vessel's seasoned captain veered off course to impress a young woman ignoring protocol and his responsibility to others on board. Human error and self-preservation led to the death of 32 passengers. Sadly, leaders sometimes take their eyes off their mission. Sadly, sometimes leaders take their eyes off their mission. As Christians, our mission is to glorify God. Jacob became lazy in leadership, and his family began to worship things other than God. Once their focus diverted, once their focus diverted, sin enveloped them. Sin begets sin. Sin begets sin. When Jacob recalibrated after hearing God's voice, the leader once again led well. Immediately, his family responded, ridding themselves of idols and repenting. Who we allow to influence, influence us, who we allow to influence us, and the influence we have on others matters. But who we follow as Lord, but who we follow as Lord matters most. As believers, we have a responsibility to point others to Jesus, to speak truth in love, and to rescue those who are being taken away to death, Proverbs 24, 11. This devotional was shared by Kim Pearson, my beautiful wife. She asks at the end, have you held back from sharing truth in love? Were you avoiding a negative reaction or were you distracted by other things or were you distracted by other things? Kim closes with this short but poignant prayer. Heavenly Father, help me to remember that I'm called to your mission. My words and actions or lack thereof matter. Amen and amen.